Italy has kicked off a generational reset of its armored forces with a first production order for the A2CS Infantry Fighting Vehicle, a program that marries Rainmetal's KF-41 Lynx chassis to Leonardo's combat systems and Italian industrial capacity. Announced on November 5, the starter batch totals 21 tracked vehicles, 5 KF-41S fielded initially with Rainmetal's Lance turret, followed by 16 built around Leonardo's Hitfist 30mm turret, with the entire trench converging on hit fist after upgrades. The package folds in training and simulation suites and carries options for 30 more vehicles, while initial deliveries are planned before the end of 2025, an aggressive schedule that reflects the Army's desire to stabilize a configuration and ramp production at speed. Execution runs through Leonardo Rainmetal Military Vehicles, a 50-50 joint venture registered in Rome with operational facilities in La Spezia, which expects to perform about 60% of integration, qualification, deliveries, logistics support, and part of production in Italy. The JV has cast the deal in explicitly political terms, arguing that shared programs of record are now essential to European strategic autonomy inside NATO rather than merely desirable. In practice, the structure localizes value, compresses sustainment timelines, and keeps configuration control close to the end user issues that have loomed large across Europe since 2022. Under the skin, the KF-41 brings a modern 40-50 to ton-class IFV architecture with clear growth margin. A Libra diesel rated north of 1,100 horsepower couples to a rank HSWL-256 automatic transmission, yielding main battle tank-like acceleration and a road speed around 70 km per hour, mobility figures, more than 60% gradient, 30% side slope, 2.5M trench crossing, a 1.0M vertical obstacle and 1.5M fording, translate directly to contested river lines, rubble-choked approaches, and other European terrain choke points. Protection scales from modular passive kits and enhanced belly armor to options such as strike shield hard kill active protection and rosy obscurant launchers, while the internal layout supports a crew of 3 plus 8 dismounts. Firepower on the initial five vehicles comes via the Lance family turret and its stabilized 30 by 173 mm 30 to 2 Malawian quachas per ABM cannon, offering dual feed selection, programmable airburst effects, and a controlled rate of fire suited to drones, infantry in cover, and lightly armored targets at ranges on the order of 3 km, with provisions for twin anti tank missile launchers. Italy's standard fit converges on the two-man hit-fist turret already familiar to its gunners, qualified for 25, 30, or 40 mm weapons. Current data sheets cite more than 220 ready rounds, stabilized hunter-killer sites, and plug-and-play support for dual ATGM launchers such as Spike. The continuity in human-machine interface from Freccia and Dardo eases training and preserves tactical muscle memory while restoring overmatch against BMP-3 class threats. Equally important is the vehicle's digital backbone. A 2CS is designed to sit natively inside Italy's Forza NEC digitization, simplifying day one integration of Sicona battle management, blue force tracking, and sovereign software-defined radios. The open architecture leaves hooks for counter-UAS sensors and hard-kill interceptors, as well as manned-unmanned teaming links, capabilities that have moved from experimentation to operational baseline in recent conflicts. That approach preserves freedom to spiral in new sensors and effectors without tearing up the wiring or waiting for vendor-locked upgrades. The program's purpose extends beyond replacing the aging VCC-80 Dardo and M113 derivatives. The Army's roadmap, previously known as AICS and now formalized as A2CS, envisions roughly 1,050 armored combat vehicles across infantry fighting, command, short-range air defense, anti-tank, 120mm mortar, reconnaissance, and combat engineering variants. A KF-41 demonstrator arrived in Italy in December 2024 for trials at Montalabretti and Natuno, giving evaluators a year of instrumented testing ahead of this kickoff. The first lot functions as a pilot to validate interfaces, lock the baseline, and de-risk scaling before serial awards. 
Within Europe's competitive field of modern IFVs, Italy's selection lands in the leading bracket on interior volume, payload, and industrialization. BAE System CV90MK4 is a mature Northern Fleet staple with a 1,000 horsepower power pack and 35/50mm growth path, while maintaining eight dismounts. Germany's Puma emphasizes compactness and protection, pairing an 800 kilowatts engine to must soft kill protection, but accepting a smaller six dismount squad bay. Delza's Ascot 2 remains a flexible modular platform fielded across NATO. Rome's calculus appears to prioritize troop capacity, growth headroom, and a localization-first industrial model that can sustain readiness at home. Italy has not released unit prices, ceiling values, or the specific receiving formations for this initial batch, standard practice for pilot tranches focused on qualification and industrial ramp. Open reporting has nonetheless framed the country's heavy armor renewal, including a 2CS and a parallel main battle tank line, as a multi-year, multi-billion euro investment. What is explicit today is the sustainment model, driver, gunner, and full crew simulators are included, and the JV commits the bulk of integration and in-service support to Italian sites to shorten feedback loops between the field and factory floor. The broader implications reach well past national rearmament. By knitting German intellectual property to Italian production and funneling most activity to local plants, the Leonardo Rainmetal Partnership aligns with Brussels instruments such as Aderpa and the newer EDIP initiative that reward joint procurement and industrial ramp up. The result is not only a capable infantry fighting vehicle for Italy's mechanized brigades but an export ready architecture with an ITR light subsystem stack. In the near term, the first 21 vehicles are modest in number by design. The significance lies in the foundation, technical, digital, and industrial, now in place to scale rapidly as options are exercised and serial contracts follow.